Moving on, I also saw this post courtesy of Outlander magazine on Twitter regarding ASAP Rocky doing a campaign for Bottega Veneta. And I was wondering, I was really curious as to like, what, I wonder where, what kind of stage of his career Rocky is in at the moment, because it seems like he's purposely taking a step back from putting out music. I think the last album he put out might have been like testing. And that might have dropped, I think, 2019 or 2018 or something, right? So it might be going into like, what, six years or something, right? Since he's dropped his last album or something, which is pretty crazy when you think about the, you know, the standard of, you know, rapper that he is, the level that he's at, the kind of music he puts out. To take that long to put out music is kind of wild. But it seems like it's clearly a strategy that he's doing. And he's maybe pivoting away from dropping music and deciding to be more of a, like a fashion influencer, which is obviously, you know, it kind of is what it is. But I just think considering his musical talent, it's such a waste of, you know, ability of artistry to just decide to just take your foot off the pedal on the metal, or sorry, take your, your foot off the pedal and decide to just pivot into doing the fashion thing when the music stuff is just so good really when he does drop you know again maybe his albums are a little bit inconsistent but it comes when it comes to the sounds when it comes to his stage performances when it comes to the, the music videos and stuff some of that stuff is really really well done but i'm just not sure this is maybe the right or the correct or the smart play long term really because he could easily be dropping music at the same time but it seems like he's purposely decided to you know pivot away from music and do more of the fashion stuff which for a fan like myself it's a bit annoying and it kind of reminds me a little bit of what happened to asap nast from asap mob um he was one of the people that, who i always thought asap nast after probably rocky was probably the best in the group even before ferg i always thought nast was probably one of the really undercover um you know dope artists and rappers and stuff in say asap mob but he clearly doesn't really fuck with music that much he doesn't really care he's turned himself completely into like a fashion influencer consultant brand guy type of thing he does a lot of collabs i'm sure he does a lot of consultancy in the background and shit he's on probably a bunch of mood boards and he doesn't drop music at all i don't think i can't remember the last time he put out a single or even a song asap nast and um clearly that's a decision that he made early on which i guess there's some credence and there's some validity and there's some worthwhile to doing that right if you're an artist maybe that makes a lot of sense you should just like stop when you want to stop because i guess the worst thing that could happen to you as a musician or as an artist in any way shape or form is if you keep going but no one wants to hear what you have to say uh, there's probably nothing worse than indifference forget like your numbers dropping but just people just not caring either either way whether you drop or you don't drop so that makes a lot of sense because apart from me saying what i'm saying now i don't really think i've seen many people online clamoring or asking rocky to drop something right to drop a flipping single drop a music album i know he announced he was going to drop an album and he put that big video production thing together that you know again a bit of waste of time the music video was really good but the actual tune itself was a bit shit i think it was for a riot right you put it out and i think maybe that was like a maybe it was like a tribute to his kid or whatever that he um recently had but i'm really kind of confused about his kind of pivot and what he's basically doing nowadays because it seems like he's definitely decided hey forget the music thing let me just go down the fashion route thing and you know maybe this is the smart play long term maybe he's seen the tea leaves maybe he's got access to some numbers in the background that we don't have access to and he's seen that people maybe just don't care about his music and it's not going off the way it should do and he's decided you know what while i've got the ability to do so while i'm married to a literal billionaire um and i'm starting a family with her and i already got my life sorted out why not just like take some chances take my foot off the pedal when it comes to music and pivot into the fashion thing maybe that's a play but again i just said it's just unfortunate because i think he's super good at music really talented guy crazy um creative um definitely got a great range i'm um, really good performer live you know i saw him at primavera and i was really impressed because i saw some other performances of him before and i wasn't that impressed when i saw them on youtube and shit when i actually went to see him in person he was amazing live and you know you just forget how many hits he has so it's a real shame that you don't really hear much music from asap rocky because he's decided i guess to become like a full-time fashion dude which kind of you know why not if you can do it but i think you can do both at the same time but again maybe he's just seen the numbers and it probably just told him you know what i'm gonna leave it there and it's like yeah, people are saying in the chat as well yeah yeah didn't him asap ferg fall out um i don't really think so maybe they did 
I think they do a good job. To be fair, ASAP Mob do a good job of keeping their internal drama internal, with the exception of that thing that happened at the moment where ASAP Rocky is going to court for um, allegedly shooting ASAP Rally, one of the founding members of ASAP Mob, um, in the hand or something during an argument. But for the most part, you don't really hear a lot of infighting between them. They've uh, they've had beefs obviously with other people, but you don't really hear them beefing each other. They kind of keep that stuff to themselves, which is pretty good to be fair. So maybe there is an issue, but I don't really think so. Um, there are I think I can't remember the, actually I can't remember the last time I saw ASAP Ferg and ASAP Rocky together so maybe there might be something there I'm not really too sure but um, and uh, what Stephen Castaneda said ASAP lost the love for rapping since the Yams passing yeah the, 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 that's a good point because that Yams part you know ASAP Yams passing you know RIP to him was definitely a pivotal moment I think ASAP Mob never really recovered from that passing to be fair they were all grieving in their own way I think they dropped really, one really good tape what, um, you know just after he passed but I think ASAP Yams was involved in the creation of that tape I forgot which one it was and that tape was fucking incredible and since then they haven't really been a collective for a while um, even someone like ASAP 12 yeah, I've always been a big fan of him I think he's a really underrated rapper too but he doesn't really put out a bunch of music but maybe that was the goal in the end maybe the goal was all these guys from Harlem didn't really have much came together and they probably quickly realized okay cool we're, we're all not going to be rocky let's not even try to be him because he's like a star clearly he's the star of the group but let's try and make something out of this so we can all just carve our own lane so we can all be like our own thing you know what i mean and they've got asap yaddy that's got that he's got that brand the skateboarding brand i forgot the name of it you got asap 12 i think he's also got a brand you've got the other dude um i think ills the mixed race dude he's got his own thing as well brand that he does they've all got their own little thing but it all came from that group of being an asap mob and you know pretending like they were a rap group but now they've all gone into doing their own thing and that's because they've all knew how to play their position so maybe that's the thing maybe asap rocky is a hey people don't check my music anyway let me just play my position and just do the fashion thing where i'm actually wanted because internationally like you know, look, he's the face of fucking protect Panetta. it's clearly he's got a lot of cachet there so that makes a lot of sense maybe that is a good option to go forward so let's see what it happens for him but again as a music fan i'm just a bit upset that i don't really get to hear a lot of new flipping music from him going forward because he's clearly decided to kind of pivot and change things and go to another direction which you know you can't really falter him for because when he does put that when he does put that shit on he does look really good in it like you can't deny when he wears certain bits of clothing unfortunately when it's not you know as long as it's not the puma stuff he definitely does look good in clothes like you can't deny this guy definitely has got an eye for clothes and definitely somebody that once he puts clothes on it just fits him like an absolute glove so i can understand that and i can understand that